balanced diet let us study about balanced diet a balanced diet includes all the nutrients that are required for a good health as we know that all kinds of foods do not contain all required nutrients our food should have a balance of the different nutrients that our body needs for growing and maintaining good health such a diet is called a balanced diet in other words we can say that a balanced diet includes all the nutrients that our body requires in proper quantities the major nutrients in our food are named carbohydrates proteins fats vitamins and minerals in addition food should contain dietary fibers and water which are also needed by our body do you know that people of different ages need the different type of diet a balanced diet depends on the amount of physical work that we do it is clear from the diet chart that if we work hard we need more carbohydrate and more fat moreover the food should also be cooked properly so that its nutrients are not lost carbohydrates let us study about carbohydrates a carbohydrate is an organic compound that consists of carbon hydrogen and oxygen let's know about carbohydrates carbohydrates form essential structure component of living cells and also act as main source of energy for animals carbohydrates include sugars starch and fiber etc they are mainly found in wheat rice potatoes corn and maize deficiency disease we eat food for growth and maintenance of good health our diet should have all the nutrients that our body needs in right proportions sometimes the food may not contain a particular nutrient deficiency of one or more nutrients can cause diseases or disorders in our body we will study about deficiency diseases in this module diseases that are caused by the lack of some particular nutrient over a long period of time are called deficiency diseases if a person's diet is deficient in proteins for a long time he or she is likely to have stunted growth swelling of face discoloration of hair skin diseases and diarrhea if the diet is deficient in both carbohydrates and proteins for a long period of time the growth may stop completely such a person becomes very lean and thin and so weak that he or she may not even be able to move deficiency of different vitamins and minerals may also cause diseases or disorders table shows some of the deficiency diseases disorders and their symptoms nutrients let us study about nutrients a nutrient is a chemical that an organism needs to live and grow or a substance 
used in an organism's metabolism, which must be taken in from its environment. In this module, we will study about nutrients in detail. Food is one of the most basic requirements of life. Food supplies us with energy. It is also required for growth and maintenance of the body. It also protects us from diseases. You eat many different kinds of food every day. Fruits, vegetables, rice, roti, milk, butter, bread, eggs, pulses, fish, meat, sugar and so on. They contain various chemical substances required by our body. These chemical substances are called nutrients. Our body needs some of these nutrients in large quantities and some in only very small quantity. Fat Let us study about fats. Fats are organic compounds that are generally insoluble in water. Like carbohydrates, fats also supply energy to our body. Excess fats get stored in our body and cause obesity. Fat is present in ghee, oil, butter, cheese, milk, etc. Test for starch In this module, we will test for starch. In a test tube, take a small quantity of wheat flour and add some water to it to make a solution. Now add a few drops of dilute iodine solution to the test tube. The color of the solution turns blue-black. This indicates the presence of starch in wheat flour. Proteins Let us study about proteins. Proteins are large biological molecules consisting of one or more chains of amino acids. Proteins are essential for bodybuilding, growth and repair of damaged tissues. Foods containing proteins are often called bodybuilding foods. Meat, fishes, eggs, pulses, cheese and soybean are some important sources of proteins. Test for protein Proteins perform a vast array of functions within living organisms. Proteins are essential for bodybuilding, growth and repair of damaged tissues. Foods containing proteins are often called bodybuilding foods. In this module, we will test for proteins in a food item. Take a small quantity of the food items to be tested. Make a paste or powder of the food item. Put some of this food item into a test tube. Add 10 drops of water to the test tube. And shake the mixture. Now add 2 drops of copper sulphate solution and 10 drops of caustic soda solution to the test tube. Shake the mixture well. Observe the color of the mixture. Violet color indicates the presence of proteins in the tested food item. Test for fat Fats may be either solid or liquid at room temperature, depending on their structure and composition. Let us test for fat in a food item. Take a piece of white paper and a small quantity of the food item. 
Now wrap the food item in the piece of paper. Crush the food item wrapped in the paper. Now straighten the paper and observe it carefully. Oily patches appear on the paper which indicates the presence of fats in the tested food item. On holding the paper against light, we find that the patch area is translucent.